Hi, and welcome to the Biofilm Q tutorial series. I'm Sanika, and this is the second tutorial where we take our first glance at the Biofilm Q interface. Here, we will learn what we can do with Biofilm Q. In the previous tutorial, we downloaded and installed the Biofilm Q software. In this tutorial, we will be using sample data, which can be downloaded from the link in the description below. If you haven't already, go ahead and download the selected files. Let's jump in and start exploring Biofilm Q. First, we'll import the sample data by clicking on Browse in the Experiment Folder panel. Once you have the right directory that contains your image, click on Select Folder. Now that the data has been imported, I'm going to walk you through what you can see on your Biofilm Q workspace. On the top left-hand corner, you can see the experiment folder panel, which contains the location of your data. In the middle is the status bar, which shows you the progression of your current task. And the panel in the right-hand corner shows you some properties of your experiment folder. The files in your selected folder are visible in the Files panel. A summary of the type of files present in your folder can be viewed by clicking on the drop-down menu. The Image Preview panel allows us to visualize the selected image during the course of image processing. The right-hand panel consists of a series of commands that you can use for image processing. The function of these commands will be elaborated on in the following tutorials. Our selected sample data consists of an image series with seven time points. At each time point, images were taken of a bacterial biofilm with two fluorescent channels. Individual channel images can be viewed by clicking on the corresponding number under the fluorescence channel drop-down menu, one or two. In our sample data, the first fluorescent channel represents the constitutive reporter. That means that all cells in the biofilm produce a fluorescent protein captured in the first fluorescent channel. By selecting Display Merged View, both channels are overlaid and displayed simultaneously. Images that show slight fluctuations between time points can be corrected for by applying the alignment function. This command will be described in another tutorial. Aligned images can be viewed by clicking on Display Aligned Image. If the alignment function has been applied, there will be a tick on the box next to the image under the Files panel. This and other information for each image file can be viewed by scrolling right in the Files panel. Separate time points give temporal information about the biofilm as visualized in the Image Preview panel. Spatial information for each time point can be viewed in the form of a Z stack. This can be viewed by clicking on Show Z stack. This opens a slider that can be moved to visualize individual Z slices of your selected image.
by clicking on ortho view. You can also see the ZY and ZX projections of your selected image. By scrolling through, you can see the Z slices of your selected image. The scaling option allows you to change the voxel measurements if they were imported incorrectly. By default, the software automatically imports these numbers from the metadata associated with your images. One of the most important features of Biofilm Q is that it allows you to extract relevant biological information from your microscopy images that would have been otherwise impossible to discern manually. For this, images need to be segmented into cubes. Each image file can be segmented by executing commands provided in this right-hand panel. The image analysis workflow will be covered in further tutorials. When Biofilm Q has performed segmentation on your selected image, the box under the segmented column in the files panel will be ticked. If you click on overlay, you will be able to verify if the segmentation has been done correctly. This orthogonal view shows Z slices with ZX and ZY projections. By scrolling through, you will be able to see red lines that indicate the cubes drawn by Biofilm Q. The cells appear in white and the background is black. With the correctly performed segmentation, we can now view the segmentation results. For this, click on the selected image and click on load segmentation results. The analyzed biofilm has various properties that can be visualized to interpret biological relevance from the processed images. For example, if your second channel captures fluorescence from a genetic reporter, using the parameter intensity for the second channel, you will be able to render a reconstructed biofilm with the color map. that indicates the extent of genetic transcription by cells in the biofilm. Scrolling through, you can see that the cells are colored differently according to the intensity of the fluorescence that describes the extent of transcription by your selected genetic reporter. This variance in intensity can also be plotted by using the command plot to open a histogram. This histogram shows the frequency of cubes with varying intensities that occur in your selected image. Thus, with Biofilm Q, we have the ability to spatially resolve parameters visually in an orthogonal view and quantitatively in a histogram. This was a quick view of the Biofilm Q interface. To learn more about cell segmentation and the various commands associated with biofilm image processing, take a look at our other tutorials. Bye for now.